to put it in words I think most people can understand, I love working for the people of Indiana. I love helping our citizens make the most of their lives, but I do not love Congress. With that announcement, Indiana Senator Evan Bayh said he would not run for a third term this year. His pending retirement caught many political observers off guard. Bayh has nearly $13 million in his campaign coffers and said he believed he could have been reelected. My decision should not be interpreted for more than it is. A very difficult, deeply personal one. Bai is now the fifth Senate Democrat who won't seek re-election. Long-timers Chris Dodd of Connecticut and North Dakota's Byron Dorgan will also make this year their last in the Senate. Six Republican senators are retiring this year. Bai's decision not to run potentially gives Republicans a chance to pick up a seat as they work to chip away at the Democrats' 59-seat majority in the Senate. Former Republican Senator Dan Coats is already in the race. Now the scramble is on to find a replacement Democratic candidate. Familiar names in the House are also saying goodbye. Just days ago, Rhode Island Democrat Patrick Kennedy took himself out of contention. My life is taking a new direction, and I will not be a candidate for re-election this year. Thirteen House Democrats are retiring, 18 Republicans. With a 78-seat majority, Democrats are not expected to lose control of the House, but they are expected to lose some seats. With so many familiar faces on the way out, now the question is, will other prominent politicians take the same route? Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.